Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the 3.5 inch drive that I recently got from Peter, Peter Bogage, also known as Zaxxon on Sell My Retro page. This drive is based on the XF551 XF Atari hardware, but it has an upgraded ROM and a 3.5 inch drive on the front. It also has a deep switch a switch, sorry, a switch on the front that allows you to select between the 720K ROM and the HyperXF ROM, an LED to show that the drive is online, powered on. On the back, there is an SIO plug to connect it to the Atari, a power input to connect the drive to 5 volt DC, two dip switches here that allow you to select the ID for the drive. You can set this drive to be either drive one, two, drive four, and then off, on switch. Let's connect this drive to the Atari SIO port. Okay, let's set it aside. Drive is very small, very compact. You can carry it on, bring it to shows and events and to demonstrate different uh, Atari software. Now, if you want to copy software to this drive from either SIO to PC or from a Atari 1050 drive, you would need an SIO splitter. I got this one from Lutarec. Best Electronic also sell their Quantipus SIO splitter. You, you can connect the three and a half inch drive here, the Atari 1050 drive, and then an SIO cable will go from the SIO splitter to the Atari computer. And using this device, you can connect up to four different Atari serial devices that only has one SIO port and are not daisy chainable, daisy chained. So you can use that to boot DOS from a 1050 drive and then set the three and a half inch drive as drive two and then just format it and copy DOS to it. I already did that. I already have my DOS on this floppy and I'm going to use it to boot. Let's first demonstrate the Atari computer using the standard operating system. On this piece, on this Atari, I have the Ultimate one megabyte, so I can change different operating system. Oh, I need to switch the drive on and connect power to the drive. Okay, now I connected power. I switch it on so the front LED say it's on. That's good. the loose connection on the back. Okay, I just booted my DOS and I can format my drive as single uh, density with double-sided sectors can format is enhanced density or single density. If you can listen, you can hear that the drive is being formatted or the floppy is being formatted. And when it's done, we can copy DOS back into the floppy. You can use the 1.44 floppies or the 720K floppies. 720K does not have a hole on the left side. Let's click H.
and now I've copied a DOS back into the drive. We got 663 free sectors on the floppy, including DOS. So let's boot again. This way you can copy your software, favorite software on the three and a half inch floppies and store them, take them to uh, um, you, and use them today. Now, if you have an Atari uh, computer with the hyper speed operating system, let's put the game. You can format the drive using the high speed format scheme. The operating system of the drive supports the high speed. So I'm going to do another format. And now the drive, the diskette sectors are being formatted in the layout of high speed format, which will allow me to load the floppy much faster. So if you have a, so a, a software or a game or that's supporting high speed, or you have the high speed operating system, it's, it, everything will be much faster. So let's put the game. And DOS is being loaded. Now, I can also format this floppy as 720k to have 720k capacity. I can. I would just need to insert the floppy into the drive. I need to configure drive one as a 720k drive. To do that, I need to push the letter O, change configuration. Uh, this drive is configurable, yes. Is this drive a high capacity drive? No, because high capacity is reserved for hard drive. Double density drive, yes, and it has 80 tracks. So I'm going to set step rate one. I'm going to set this drive to be an 80 track drive. And now I'm formatting the uh, three and a half inch floppy with 80 tracks, so it will hold capacity of 720k uh, data. The formatting process does take longer because it has to format more tracks. But once it will be finished, we can see that there are more sectors into the floppy. So using a single side uh, format uh, we only had uh, 600 sectors, around 600 sectors, but there were double density sectors because this is a double density drive. When, when we format it with 80 tracks, we will get more sectors into the floppy and we can copy more data there. Today, this drive can help you to store your copy your old floppies into new floppies. It will allow you to store more data into the drive itself. Back in the day, this will be very handful to use as a BBS or, or when you do programming or anything, any device that you needed to have a, um, more storage capacity. Let's look at the content of the, now we have 2,867 free sectors double density sectors on that floppy. Let's write DOS to it. Okay. And now we have three and a half inch drive formatted as 720K and has my DOS on it. Earlier, I copied here the game Zork, which is a single side, single density 
a floppy, five and, uh, and a quarter inch floppy. I just did a copy from drive one to drive two. And I have here the game Zorg, and this floppy is formatted as single side, single density. And I'm going to show you how it's going to boot because I did that when I was using the high speed operating system or in high speed copy uh, software. And now I have the game Zork, Zork 3, loaded from a 3.5 inch floppy on an Atari computer in super speed because I have the high speed operating system. If not, it will just load as a normal speed like the uh, 1050 would uh, do for me. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration of the 3.5 inch drive. And until next time, keep, enjoy, and play with your Atari.